Today, I'm going to unbox and set up a new LG Gram. Let's go. This is the 17 inch i7 8565U, late 2019 model. LG took a minimalist approach to the packaging. They included two charging pieces and a USB-C ethernet adapter. As soon as I pulled it up, I couldn't believe how light this was. It's incredibly light. It only weighs 2.95 pounds. Removing the last piece, we get some instructions underneath the box. Let's take a closer look at the charging cables. This charger is also very light. It's a 240 volt charger with a custom adapter. The other piece is just a standard charging cable. Very simple charger design. Next is a Thunderbolt Ethernet adapter. It's a 100 megabit Ethernet connection. The LG Gram already has a wireless card, so this is an added bonus. Taking a look at the instructions, you can see the different ports. Now let's take a closer look at the Gram. It really is an incredibly designed laptop. Its frame is about 15 inches wide and 10 and a half inches long and 0.7 inches thick. On the side is a charging port, USB 3, HDMI 2.0, and the USB-C port. Flipping it over, there are two USB 3.0 ports. There is a micro SD card port. Standard SD will not fit. This is a Samsung Evo 512 gigabyte. When putting it in, it does stick out a little. To pull it out, you push it in and it will eject. Opening up reveals the screen and keyboard. It is a backlit keyboard with a full number pad on the right. Overall, I had a great experience typing on the keys. One of my favorite features is the thumbprint reader on the power key just seemed to have worked every time. It's a very simple design back with just two speaker ports on the sides. So now let's open it up. I'm going to use this iPhone repair kit from Bonafide Hardware. I'm gonna start with a flathead screwdriver and peel off these little stickers that cover the screws. They are very small and stick to everything, so be careful when taking it off. It was very simple to take this apart. The only screws are around the outside edge. Next, get the pry tool and go around the outside to separate the pieces. You will hear some clicking and that's totally fine. Once we're inside, we can see how well designed this is. Just like most other LG phones, it's very clean and accessible. There's RAM, M.2, the heatsink, the battery, and the CPU. Feel free to take a screenshot. There is no separate GPU. The trade-off is that it's very light, but it's not designed for gaming. Let's take a quick look at the back. Three white dots are simply padding. There is a 72 watt hour battery, and they claim it can have 19 hour battery life. Here we have the RAM. There's eight gigs soldered on with an eight gig stick. Max capacity is 24 gigs. And here are the M.2 drives. What's great about this is that it does both SATA 3 and NVMe M.2. It's very easy to upgrade your memory. And I'm gonna show you now how to do that. In this example, I'm gonna use the XPG SX8200 Pro. It's an NVMe M.2 drive with write speeds of 3000 megabytes a second. This will give an extra terabyte of memory. To switch an NVMe drive, just simply undo the screw like this, find the M.2 notch and line it up at an angle and push down and screw it on. Now you can see how easy it is to upgrade memory yourself. We just added an extra terabyte. Major kudos to LG for making it so simple to upgrade. Let's put the screws back on and I'll show you the system BIOS. Again, be careful not to lose any of those little stickers. I will take a second again to mention how lightweight the LG Gram is. It's a nano carbon magnesium, not plastic, so it's also very strong. All right, let's boot it up into the BIOS. First time you turn it on, it's going to be recognizing the new memory. So you need to hit F2 to boot into the BIOS. If I simply just want to add additional memory and keep my Samsung as the boot drive, you can just ignore this step and let the computer boot up normally. If, however, you want to boot from the new hard drive, you can follow these BIOS steps. Once you're in this screen, scroll over to the boot menu. As you can see, it gives the boot priority order. Right now, number five is the Samsung and number six is the new hard drive we put in. If I wanted to use the new hard drive to boot from, I would flip the order by pushing the arrow keys. However, I would have to have Windows installed on it first. You can watch my other videos on how to do that. This is intended as a simple overview on how the BIOS works. Once I am done, I scroll over to exit and hit yes to save my changes. The computer will take a second to boot up as it recognizes the new drive. Skip ahead and it powers right on. Going forward, the computer boots up almost instantly. 
I will take a moment to talk about how great the screen is. It's a 17 inch 2560 by 1600 IPS display. It really does look incredible. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with the LG Gram. Understand that it's not a gaming or multimedia production device. Using it for everyday tasks such as word processing or web browsing works great. I did do some video editing on it and it worked just fine. It did struggle quite a bit with special effects, but that's to be expected without a graphics processor. The screen is amazing and it's lightweight at less than three pounds. The battery life is fantastic. Overall, I highly recommend what LG has done. And that's it. Thanks for watching.